Hi there, my smarty pants. So today we're talking about textures, texturas. Okay, we looked at a slideshow of things that have texture or that are a texture, and we're going to talk about what we're going to do. So first, the supplies you will need, things with texture, cosas con textura. And I'm going to show you some examples. I found the lid to my pencil box has texture. Sandpaper, okay, which is actually on here. Up el papel de lija, okay, sandpaper. My basket has a texture, okay. So things around your house or sandpaper, el papel de lija, tree bark if it's not raining, la corteza del arbol, okay, sidewalk, la acera if it's okay for you to go outside. Street, mucho cuidado, la calle, okay, so be really careful if you go to the street. Table, your table might have a texture, okay, la mesa, but be careful, don't get crayon on your mom's table. Walls, your walls might have a texture, las paredes, again, cuidado, don't get crayon on the walls, okay, and you're going to need paper and colors, papel y colores. Okay, so let's get started. So I have with me a piece of paper. Okay, I'm going to use my sandpaper and I'm going to tilt this down. Now I'm going to put my paper on top, okay, on the top of the sandpaper. And I'm using crayons. Okay, crayons are probably the best. Okay, so I've got a color. And then I'm just going to color right on top of my texture, my sandpaper. Okay, color a lot, mucho, mucho. You can use different colors if you want. Colores diferentes. Okay, let's see, where's more over here? Okay, so there is my sandpaper texture. All right, I'm going to save that. New paper, and I'm going to use my pencil box. Put the paper on top. Okay. So there's what that looks like. I'm going to do a little bit more with a different color. Okay. So there's the pencil box texture. Okay. And last, my basket. Put my paper right on top and let's see I need a color let's try this red okay let's see how this one works oh, okay notice that I'm holding it with my hand so it doesn't wiggle around okay hold your paper still Let's see, let's add some more color to that. Hold it down. Okay, and there is my texture from my basket. Okay, so you're going to make your three textures now what can you do with those? Well, we can turn them into a card, okay? So what you can do next, if you have a construction paper or colored paper, you can fold that, okay? Oh, that's a terrible fold, oh well. And you can cut shapes and glue them down. Let's see, I think I'm gonna cut a big heart.
Okay, so there's a heart. And let's see, this one. Ooh. I'm going to make a spiral, maybe like a snake. Cut that off. There we go. Okay, so there's my spiral made with my sandpaper. And this one, let's see. I'm going to make some zigzags. Okay, zigzags, heart, spiral. And now I'm going to glue those down to my paper. Now you don't have to do this part if you want. The important part, el parte importante, is la textura, is the texture, okay? But I'm just making something interesting with my texture. Let's see. So I'm going to put some glue on there or tape. Stick that on the front. And then on the inside, <coughs> permiso, excuse me, I'm going to glue my heart. Let's see, I'm going to put that right in the middle, which means I'm going to need to fold my paper again. There we go. Okay, there's my heart and my spiral. Let's see, how can I make this work how I want it to? Stick that. Aha! That's what we'll do. Like that. Smoosh it down. Okay, so there's the outside. And then when I open it, I get my spiral and my heart. So just whatever, okay? The important part is the textures, that you make some texture rubbings and try different things. Try things around your house. Try things outside, okay? And have fun with it, all right? And then if you want to make it into a card or a picture, you can, okay? All right, guys, I hope you have fun. Bye.